and which kind of you know are much more personal and something which uh, you know both mimic the phone as well as the tablet functionality but all in all this was a very great, a good device um, keeping in mind that it offered expandability it dual doubled up as a phone and um, you know was quite personal had a front as a back facing you know front and a back facing camera which came out only in the iPad 2 if you recall and not in the original iPad so it was a step ahead of what the iPad 2 was but you know they've sent the industry benchmarks but uh, Samsung is now very hot on heels of the uh, you know when I would say Apple and they are innovating quite fast so a very good tablet that you should look out uh, if you're looking at buying something out in the market which is the Samsung uh, you know Galaxy tab yep so yes that's a good purchase that you did that was a good purchase <laughs> that I made yes. this is one of my choice I mean at the time like Aram was saying the technology that was out on this particular device was not out on the iPad. iPad, yes. So obviously the, the iPad came first, then this came out, then the iPad 2. So obviously this was in the middle at the time. This was, you know, the thing to have. But I'm still very, very happy with it because obviously in terms of comparison, if you were to compare it with the uh, iPad, just the Roman batarete, with this particular one, if you want memory or it has an SD card on the side, which you cannot do. You can't do this on the iPad. iPad, no. Um, this has a SIM card. Which you cannot do on again, the iPad. On the iPad Ag yes. Again, um, like I said, it's a seven inch, it's slightly smaller, but some people may prefer that. That may be a bonus to some people um, rather than, you know, being a negative point. Like I said, Absolutely, I like, uh, it fits I in your hand. You can do all, you know, you can do what you need to do on it. Um, there's an array of apps for me to do all manner of different things, which as the new year comes along, we will be talking about, we were talking about all the different apps that have, you know, changed the way we do everything which we're going to probably move on to um, yes. i've got a few things that i'd obviously like to talk about 2011 obviously um, in america it always been a big thing it's been a big thing for uh, a while now but 2011 i feel personally was when the uk embraced twitter it did yes it did indeed um, because everything there there's so many scandals of, from the news uh, stories that have broken obviously you've got uh, WikiLeaks and etc etc all of these stories have broken on Twitter which has led to the UK uh, in general uh, taking on Twitter in mass yes so we have millions of users now but it was much far behind 2010 you would have mentioned Twitter to someone they would have been like what is Twitter now it's and on everyone's lips absolutely and for those of you who don't understand Twitter and I'll explain that obviously in Punjabi if we text on the phone, the text is limited to 160 characters. If we use Twitter, so it is an equivalent of internet pay, uh, you know, texting. And uh, Twitter is also called microblogging. That means if you have a news market, you have a news in your friend circle or your followers, you can write it in Twitter in 160 words and you know, it spreads, spreads yeah. like fire. So it's like microblogging. If you blog written or blog written, if you write a headline, then it will be on Twitter. Pe hogi. Huh. And Twitter ka, uh, I think the biggest moment for Twitter came was when Apple embraced it. And they have integrated that in the iOS 5. So if you use iPad, use karte, iPhone, use karte, or use iPod touch, you can use any phone. You can use it on karte hi fresh, fresh out of the uh, box. You can use two things. Obviously, we've got Facebook, Facebook. And number two now as standard. Twitter. Twitter. So, if you have a so connected world, if you have a connected world, you can tweet it to your friends and your network ko immediately. You can tweet it to your friends and your network ko immediately. You can tweet it to your friends and your And it becomes a you know, message wherein it f spreads like fire. Instead of messaging 50 people, up ek message ke zariye sabko sabko bata sakte hain ab kya kar rahe hain agar wo jawab dena chahte hain they can do obviously it's something it's, it's a bit technical for to try and explain uh, here but do give it a try um, you know go go on to the website there's so many celebrities that are using twitter you know like roman as well he's using celebrities. and the other <laughs> thing is ye free hai. so you know it, it is absolutely free yes. so you can go in create an account log in and absolutely start building a following yes so you can follow us the gadget show for example uh, yeah. which is dm digital tv follow kar sakte hai, hashtag laga ke, uh, at the rate tag laga ke, 
and uh, uh, aap, matlab, up to date sakte hai with you know people basically follow uh, you know have twitter for various things so i would use twitter for news agar koi bhi breaking news hai to log usko tweet kar dete hain ek kism se text bhej dete hain so wo twitter pe aa jati hai agar aap cnn ko follow kar rahe hain bbc ko follow kar rahe hain ya matlab koi aur news channel ko follow kar rahe hain to wo immediately aapko news aapke phone pe aa jati hai ki ye twitter pe matlab tweet aa jata hai and iski jo message aata hai usko tweet bolte hain aur iska icon jo hai bird hai to matlab ye kafi sari cheeze aisi hain jo ki 2011 mein ye pehle bhi thi they twitter got launched i think in 2007 or yeah, so yeah it's been it's been 5 years 5 6 yeah. years but ye catch on kiya hai 2011 mein so facebook jo hai jaise abhi 800 million users ho gaye hain agar aap dekhe to this is caught on really they were like 200 million 300 million fir half a billion ho gaya isi saal mein uh, 500 million yeah. users across the world and then suddenly they've jumped to 800 million now and what the next big milestone for them in 2012 is 1 billion users एक बिलियन लोग जो हैं कनेक्टेड होंगे फेसबुक पे व्हिच इज अ मैसिव थिंग मैसिव अम अगेन जस्ट एज अ लिटिल असाइड व्हाइल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सोशल नेटवर्किंग अम वन ऑफ द बिग बिग मिसेस ऑफ दिस ईयर वाज गूगल प्लस और डेफिनेटली इट वाज अ शेम इट वाज आई थिंक जो एक चीज कहते हैं ना कि अगर फेसबुक हैज बीन वेरी सक्सेसफुल इन क्रिएटिंग अ नेटवर्क Twitter has been very create, uh, successful in creating a microblogging network. Google which has been kind of ruling the roost in terms of being the best search interne- internet search engine and uh, you know the maps if you look at some of the and applications the acquisition of YouTube as YouTube well. YouTube as yeah. well. So agar aap broadcast karna chahe to YouTube pe koi bhi video load but I think social networking is space mein they were lagging and they were uh, you know kind of far behind. So what they try tried to do successfully and unsuccessfully let me put it this way is create something called the Google Plus but they are again relaunching it you know and they have seem seemingly they've caught on with about 40 to 45 million users really? and it's growing quite fast in comparison to what Facebook but Google apne aap ko in general reinvent kar raha hai they are creating connectivity between YouTube your Gmail account you know your maps uh, your Google Plus and obviously a lot of other services that they normally bring in but ek bahut bada acquisition jo unhone kiya hai which is bringing them in direct competition to the likes of you know Microsoft Apple HTC is they have acquired Motorola subject to regulations you know and uh, the FTC approving that in the US agar ye ho jata hai to fir you know they have their ecosystem android and there will also be a handset maker which is Motorola so, so maybe Motorola something to look out for something to look out for year. in the next year definitely yes Right so like I said we're talking about apps um if there's any particular app that you use what is the kind of app that you use on a daily basis Roman like I said me personally I will every morning or every at, at some point during the day I'm going to check my social networking on my particular phone what is essential for me in terms of my work I use uh, satnav a lot yes. on my phone is there anything what's what are the must have ga- uh, apps on your phone that you could not live without anymore well अगर मैं देखूँ हमें दो तीन चीज़ें हैं मतलब आई विल ऑलवेज चेक माय ईमेल्स ऑन द फोन बिकॉज दे बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ सो इफ़ यू लुक एट ईमेलिंग एंड इंटरनेट अगर इसको साइड में रख दें दो मिनट के लिए एंड देन आई लुक एट अदर एप्स सो आई विल चेक फेसबुक आई विल चेक ट्विटर बिकॉज मेरे दोनों पे अकाउंट हैं यू नो हैव अलॉटिंग let me not start about it but when you're living in manchester it could be sunny one day it could be sunny one moment and it could be rainy the other so i think one of the apps that i use at least 20 to 25 times a day is the weather app and i also keep you know have a keen interest in 
stocks. So I will look at the stock apps as well, which will basically, you know, my favorite stocks, looking at favorite stocks, are they going up, going down? So those kind of things. But I think everybody will have their own favorites. But in general, if I look at social networking, you look at internet and emailing, weather, and a couple of other things like news. For example, I would watch BBC on my, you know, Sky or BBC News on my phone. Uh, you know, if I get five, 10 minutes, just catch, catching up quickly with the headlines. So these are some of the apps that I use. Right, obviously we've, we've probably not got too long left of the show. So we're gonna move on to the future. We've talked about the past. Yes. We're gonna talk about what you think is going to happen in 2012. I think the, personally for me, the biggest thing that I'm expecting in 2008 to come out um, is um, on two or three fronts. So you, you can, when we look at uh, doing technology, talking about technology, I think I will bifurcate that into software, hardware, and devices, so or gadgets. So when you look at software, I think the biggest thing that I'm anticipating is the Windows 8 launch. And Microsoft is looking at bringing out Windows 8, and we have a screenshot of that as well, which we will bring you shortly, which is Microsoft Windows 8. And I think what they're trying to do is bring out, no, not this one, we're trying to bring out, uh, you know, um, they are trying to bring out an operating system which will work seamlessly on tablets, laptops, PCs, oh, okay. and you know, your phones. So it will be lightweight in terms of, you know, running wise, efficiency wise, performance wise, but it will simplify a lot of things. And as we've got used to using, um, you know, applications using widgets or tiles as they call it on the Windows phone, I think we will see a lot more implementation of that happening on uh, the Windows 8 platform. And there are some great videos out there which have been put out by the Microsoft developers team uh, on, on YouTube and a couple of other networks wherein you can have quick sneak preview of some of these videos and I think much awaited launch that you will see of uh, you know Windows 8 coming out. So be so like you said, it can be used on laptops, phones, everything. It'll work yeah. seamlessly. Seamlessly. So it the same one, the same implementation. Same of the implementation of the program. Wow. And unfortunately, we can't show you the videos, but there are a lot of videos which are there on uh, YouTube that we looked at, preview videos which Microsoft has put out in terms of the features that they are bringing out on Windows 8. And I do quite, uh, you know, from whatever I've seen so far, I think that's going to be pretty impressive for what Microsoft is trying to uh, accomplish. It's going to be touch enabled, so that's the reason why it will work across on devices, so phone, tablets, and others. Plus, it will also give you seamless connectivity as far as social network is concerned, you know, your uh, emailing is concerned. So instead of the usual way of launching applications that we look at, start programs and things like that, you'll have a new interface, which yeah, is called the Metro UI. They oh, call okay. it the Metro UI, and that is the tile UI which you see on the opening screen yeah. altogether. So you can just touch it, or you know, you would use mouse and keyboard, and then uh, you know get get going with that. So one of the biggest launches, I think they are expecting that to be launched in June, mid June mm -hmm. next year. But you know Microsoft is always known to slip on deadlines. Mm. But there's a developers preview available for those who have signed on onto the developers program. Can download that in uh, in in that preview and have a look at the operating system. So that's the best in terms of software. I would say software. Software that's coming out in 2012. Hardware wise, um, there are a couple of things which are anticipated. If we just keep Apple aside for yeah. a moment, right? The iPad 3, the iPhone 5 yeah. or Apple TV. If you just keep them aside, there are some of the other things which are gonna make headlines. One concept which is being pioneered by Intel and a lot of PC uh, makers to reinvigorate the PC market is called the Ultrabook. Uh, all of us or some of us have used the MacBook Air which yeah. we've seen is quite thin, quite light, great on battery backup, but it doesn't have an optical drive. The Ultrabooks, which we had a screenshot of the Acer Ultrabook before uh, that we showed on the screen, was a particular gadget which will be lightweight, give you great battery backup, and it will be absolutely thin and you know powerful in terms of giving you all the features that you expect from a laptop, but will also give you connectivity through either 3G or 4G or LTE technology. That means sitting in a tube, sitting in a car, I'm straight away connected. Plus I have the plethora of applications available. Um, uh, instead of carrying a bulky laptop, I will have something quite light enough uh, which I could use and use that you know, for applications which are multitasking. So I think this is one of the big things which we will see. They are already available this year, but I think the price point affordability index of these things will make it much more popular. So a lot of people will consider whether I go for a tab, yeah. uh, go for a tablet, go for a traditional desktop, or should I choose a you know ultrabook? 
And very quickly, I think the two other hardware devices which I do feel will, will be making history. One is the Nintendo Wii U, which we will show you a screenshot of as well, and the Sony PlayStation Vita. These are two consoles uh, or game makers, you know, uh, essentially, which are looking at reinventing. So we have we've been quite used to the PS3, and this is a powerful version of the the next generation device, which is the Sony PlayStation Portable PSP, as we call it. The next one, which is coming out uh, in February, uh, this will be launched. This is something that uh, you know will be much awaited uh, launch. And there's another screenshot that we'll bring you, which is the Nintendo Wii U. And if you bring that on, that is a that will be something which you know we are expecting. I see a smile flicker across your oh, face yeah. there because <laughs> I think that's the one you're looking forward to the most, yeah. isn't it? Yes, and I, I think we we would want to get our hands on that as soon as possible. We've seen some preview videos. They've done a press conference. It is something amazing. So it is bringing video calling. It is bringing connectivity with your TV, wireless. And you know, uh, with the existing set of Wii accessories, which are already there, like the Wii board and stuff, and this will again, you know, take Nintendo from what a is considered as non-serious gaming, yeah. but f gaming with fun uh, to a different level. And I think we should show you a screenshot of that, which is the Nintendo Wii U. If you bring that onto the screen, it is the Nintendo Wii U. Yeah. So obviously, Nintendo it did start off when the Wii first came out. Obviously, yes. it was a unique concept. But like you said, after the initial you know peak, yes. there was it did begin to lag quite badly. Yes. In the sense that you know there, like you said, for for serious gamers, it didn't really bring anything to the table. Yes. So, but now you're saying this will do that. Yes, it will. From some of the videos which are which have been made available by the company, if you look at the Nintendo Wii U, that's the screenshot that we want on the screen. Nintendo Wii U. If you look at some of the videos which are there, uh, you know, which have been put out by the company, and the implementation of what they've taken it, they've taken it a level higher. And when you look at, if you have a TV in front of you and you're playing it with Nintendo Wii, you can seamlessly transfer that image because it's touch screen from your screen. You flick it, it straight away goes to the wow. TV. If you suddenly decide that I want to catch the news and I want to start playing my game on the uh, small console, you can play the game on your console and you know, just walk off the room. It Nintendo integrates. There we, we go. That's the screenshot of uh, the Wii. So it's a touch screen. It's got the fully integrated touchpad and the buttons and controls on it. Plus, it's got a front and a back facing camera and will have the accessibility for wireless as well as video calling. So I do feel that a lot of Wii enthusiasts, people who have, I love playing Wii. And let me put it this way, Mirko Bot Mazata V Kilime. You know, especially when you have kids at home and uh, you can play games which are serious fun. Uh, you know, kids' games and games which which make you you know exercise yeah. quite a lot. So we uh, for you will be a much awaited console that uh, you know I think everybody is expecting. Uh, what is the new thing which is coming out from Nintendo? And I think the, this is slated for launch in June, uh, 2012. One of the things that you need to look out for when you look at uh, you know the gadgets coming out. Gadgets coming out. So hardware, software covered. Look at uh, more and more, uh, I would say, gadgets coming out. There is a vast list out there. And uh, wh what we will do is we'll put that list out on our website rather than me getting into specifics. I think when you pick up qu very briefly, very quickly, if there are phones or time, the 3G phones, they are 4G phones. On issue. If you look at tablets. If tab you what's the difference 3G or 4G? 3G or 4G, the technology is different. If we look at data download speeds, if we look at the date of the 3G technology, the browsing speeds are available in the network, it's 1.5 megabytes to 3.5, 4 megabytes. And the coverage area is inside. LTE, which is long-term evolution technology, is saying 4G. And in that, your browsing speeds, your connectivity speeds, will be fast. So you will see a rise of maybe as high as probably 10 folds. So if you are going to 1.5, 3, you will go to 10 megabytes. So the connectivity will be fast over the network itself. Plus, uh, I think smartphones are going to be much more affordable. So our phones, they can get sub look smartphone use, getting it touch based, keypad based. Devices may, I think PC as an industry, agar aap dekhen, they will be you know, bringing out new things in the market because laptops, tablets are increase kar hai, PCs yeah. ka market share. Gir so a lot of companies are looking at innovating with different form factors, shape and size. Uh, uh, 3D TVs, for example, will be a big thing. Yeah. They will become very affordable. Or the uh, Las Vegas movie, Consumer Electronic Forum, there is already news that LG is going to be showcasing an 84-inch 
O L E D TV, wow. which is a 3D TV, you know, 84 inch, which is going to be commercially available. And its resolution is 4K. Wow. So, if we talk about HD or 1080p, we are looking at 4K resolution. So, it's four times. Four times. So, it's in the domain of Sony or JVC. Mass manufacturing mein aajegi, LG ke saath. So, you know, there are loads of things coming loads in. Of things. Loads of things. Loads of things. And obviously, we could be here till the new year talking yes. about all the gadgets and all the gizmos that are coming out. But um, that's all we have time for, unfortunately. So that was our review of 2011 in terms of technology. Uh, we will be back in the new year bringing you much, much more in terms of live demonstrations and all of the latest news. Absolutely. Any, any final words? I think uh, uh, a message to all our viewers who have supported us and have uh, you know, given us feedback and comments. Uh, we would want to know from you in the new year what gadgets you want us to cover. Obviously, we have uh, in the episodes that we've done this, we've covered a lot of them. But specifically, if you want us to review any particular gadget, please let us know by email through our website and also through Facebook and Twitter. Or uh, I will want to wish all our viewers a very, very happy new year and may the new year be very prosperous and, uh, you know, uh, blissful for you and your family. Yes, definitely. So uh, that's, that's us. That's the Gadget Show for 2011. Um, we'll see you next year. Goodbye.